Hello friends. Welcome to your yoga class. I hope that you're doing well. I hope that you're staying healthy. I hope your family and your friends and everyone you love is as well. And I'm really glad we can be together to do something kind for ourselves so we can hopefully go out and share that feeling with others. So we're gonna continue on with some intention work. Um, we picked a card last class and we're gonna do that again just to give ourselves an anchor of focus. So yoga philosophy, um, in a very complex and beautiful way, talks a lot about the mind, um, how the mind is often thinking it's in charge and can help or get us swept away in thoughts and feelings in reactions. And one of the beautiful parts of the philosophy is that the reminder that we get to choose what our mind anchors in. And I find it's really helpful to have something to anchor ourselves in, especially when things are hard, when they're challenging, something to keep coming back to. Um, so we're gonna pick a card today and hopefully it will give us some guidance, some wisdom that we can carry off our mats. So if you have a mat, great. If you don't, you don't need one. You might want a pillow or a blanket to pad your knees. So the card I am choosing for us today is a card that says freedom. In order to move forward, free yourself from blame. Freedom. In order to move forward, free yourself from blame. So to me, when I think about this card through the lens of yoga philosophy, um, it reminds me of that trapped sensation we get in our minds sometimes and the way that we think that um, we're small or that we're not enough or that you know we can't forgive ourselves for something that we said or um, we think we should be something other than imperfectly human. So let's give ourselves the freedom and the permission today to let go, to remind ourselves of ourselves on our mat and to really show up with that sense of freedom. So we'll start that with the breath as we always do. So. Grounding down into your seats. You hear me say this a lot. Settle your shoulders away from your ears. Free your jaw from its hinge. And free your breath from being trapped. So are you holding yourself prisoner by holding your breath in? Can you let yourself be fully yourself by embracing your breath? by giving your breath the freedom to fill into every part of yourself. And let's also free ourselves from the responsibility of having to be anywhere else but here. So you showed up today. Why don't you give yourself these 45 minutes to free yourself, to free your mind, to free some space in your body. Let's draw our hands in a gesture of prayer at the heart, bow your chin into your chest. Reminding ourselves that our intention today is freedom, freedom for ourselves, freedom to be with others. So this is a beautiful word because it allows us all to have the space to be ourselves, to be seen as ourselves, to embrace other people as themselves. Let's go ahead and open our eyes. We'll start standing. We're gonna take up a lot of space today. So let's start in a big X pose. So freedom to be in a full expression of your body. So feet are wide, wide, wide. Arms are extended out and just standing in yourself today. So stand in all your flaws and all your mistakes and all your beauty and all your perfections and imperfections. Start to settle into your breath. And then we're gonna do 
something called sunflower. So we're gonna circle the body around, almost like you're a clock. So keep your feet grounded down. Take your arms in a big circle. And then the next time you come up, we'll circle the other way. So big clock circling, ground into your feet. Use the strength of your legs and your belly to move you in these circles. From here, let's come back to stand. Take your feet a little bit wider than hips distance. So feet come in a little bit. And then arms are out. Inhale here, exhale, let's round our spine, give ourselves a hug. One arm crosses over the other. Inhale, open your heart wide. Exhale, give yourself a hug, other arm crosses over. One more time, inhale, open your heart. Exhale, curl in your spine. And then take your hands down to your sides, mountain pose. We're going to be focusing on the heart today. To me, freedom is when we allow our hearts to be seen and we see the hearts of others. So lots of heart opening today. Arms come down to the side. And then from here, rise your arms up on an inhale. Exhale, bend your elbows, open your heart. Shine your heart forward towards the screen. Share your heart with me. Inhale, rise your arms tall. Exhale, bend your elbows, beam your heart forward. Let everyone feel your love. Inhale, arms rise tall to the sky. Exhale, bend your elbows, beam your heart forward. And then let your hands come down to your sides. Interlace your hands behind your spine. And then we're going to send your interlace back. Puff up your chest. And just take a couple breaths here with your heart spread wide. Shoulders melting away from your ears. From here, release your interlace. Coming back to your mountain pose. We're going to start to flow in and out of some sun salutations. I want you to lead with your heart. So almost like the heart had a string that was pulling you into all these movements, lead with your heart today. That's always good advice, I find, especially when my mind gets in the way. So leading with the heart, letting the heart be free to lead. As you inhale, rise your arms up, heart lifts. Exhale, heart folds forward. Let your head and your neck go. Inhale, beam your heart forward, flat-ish back. Exhale, fold your heart, release your head. Ground down into your feet. Inhale, roll yourself up. Heart reaches for the sky. And then exhale, draw your hands into your heart one more time. Inhale, rise your heart, rise your arms. Exhale, fold your heart, fold your arms, let your head go. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise your arms tall. Exhale, draw your hands to your heart. So we're going to do another series. I don't know if we've done this together. We're going to do an Anjane Asana series. This is a, um, it's a series of sun salutations. Um, it takes a lot of heart opening. So let's open our hearts. So inhale, rise your arms, rise your heart. Exhale, fold your body in half. Inhale, lift your heart, flat back. Exhale, fold, you're going to step your right knee back and rest it on the floor. Inhale, rise your heart. Exhale, hands come down to the floor. Step your left foot back to meet your right downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot steps forward, left knee comes down. Inhale, rise yourself up. Exhale, hands come down, left foot steps up, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold your heart. Inhale, rise your arms tall. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. We'll do it again. Inhale, arms rise up. 
Exhale, fold yourself in half, leading with your heart. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands come down. This time, left knee steps back and down. Rise your heart up. Exhale, hands come down to the earth, left foot steps back to meet the right, down dog. Inhale, left foot steps for the hand, right knee comes down. Inhale, rise yourself up. Exhale, hands come down, left foot, or sorry, right foot steps up, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. We'll do that one more set. Inhale, arms rise tall. Exhale, hands come to your heart. Inhale, rise your arms up. Exhale, fold yourself in half. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands come down, left knee steps back and down, rise your arms tall. Exhale, hands come down, left foot steps back to meet the right. Inhale, right foot steps, back knee comes down, rise your arms. Exhale, hands come down, left foot steps up, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, rise your arms tall. Exhale, draw your hands to the heart. Last side, inhale, arms rise tall. Exhale, fold your heart. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands go down, left knee goes down and back, arms rise. Exhale, hands come down, left right foot steps back, down dog. Inhale, left foot steps, right knee comes down, arms sweep tall. Exhale, hands come down, right foot steps up to left. Inhale, halfway lift. And let's exhale to a forward fold. We'll pause here. Let your head go. Regain control of your breath. And then roll yourself up to a stand. So standing in your mountain pose. Maybe letting the breath flow through, regaining control if you've got a little cardio. From here, let's rise our arms tall to the sky. We'll pick our apples, so reaching up with one hand, getting into the side body, moving as slowly or as quickly as feels good to you, leading with your heart. From here, let's have both arms come up, interlace your hands, keeping as much bend in your elbows as you need. Send your interlace, palms up towards the sky. So nice open heart, bending your elbows again as much as you need. On your exhale, release your hands down to your mountain pose. And then we're just gonna wake the body up with some tapping. So this is, it can seem a little weird, but it really kind of makes me feel like tingly with energy. So you're gonna use two fingers, like your peace fingers, and you're just gonna start tapping gently across the top of your head, across your forehead, tapping across your cheeks, your jaw, reminding space to come in there, tapping across your lips and the bridge of your nose, down your neck on the base of your neck. And then you can use both hands here. So tapping across your collarbone and your chest and your belly. Let's tap up one arm, down that same arm into the palm, tapping up the other arm. So just kind of creating some energy in the body. And then tapping across your chest again, into your belly and your hips and your back, anywhere you can reach. Down your legs, maybe making gentle fists, tapping to the sides of the legs, up the sides and the backs of the legs. Gently tapping into your feet. And then rolling your body back up to mountain pose, palms come to the side. 
Close your eyes, feel the energy. Go ahead and open your eyes again. We're gonna do an exercise for our arms and also to create some heat and energy. So rub your palms together. Elbows are out to the side, jaw is free and soft, shoulders are free and soft. And at first this is like, oh, no big deal, I'm just rubbing my hands. And then you'll probably start to feel your triceps, your forearms, everything in your arms really starting to build some heat, getting a little tired. Notice when you start to kind of clamp and clench and see if you can create freedom by just softening into the discomfort. Rubbing your hands even more, maybe a little quicker. Rubbing your hands a little bit more, feeling that burn in your arms, feeling that strength coming in, but not letting the body clamp or clench. Rub a little bit more, we're almost done, I know I'm doing it too. And then start to let your hands form into a little ball. See if you can feel the energy between your hands, the heat between your hands. And then see how much you can still feel that energy as you move your hands out to the side, like you're holding a big beach ball, maybe even a hula hoop. And then once you start to feel the energy maybe getting a little softer, stay. And just feel yourself holding the energy of your body. Holding it into your heart. But letting it freely flow out. Hands come down to your sides. Inhale, rise your arms tall. Exhale, fold the body in half. Inhale, reach your heart forward, flat back. Exhale, fold your heart. We're gonna step the feet back for plank and then downward facing dog. So heart is reaching for those thighs, knuckles are pressing down, armpits are hugging in. And let's create freedom for the backs of our legs. So no need to strain, bend your knees as much as the backs of the legs are asking. And then from here, looking towards your hand, stepping your right foot for your right hand, spin your back foot flat to a 45. We're coming up for warrior one. So heart lifting, arms stacking over your shoulders. The outer edge of the foot is taking a lot of the weight, so the front leg doesn't have to do all of this. Maybe rise your heart one more inch. And then let's all find either an interlace behind the back or grabbing opposite forearms. We're gonna puff up our chest and then we're gonna fold our heart inside the right thigh. Let your head go. Humble warrior, not a super comfortable pose for most of us, maybe all of us. See if you can let your heart surrender down, give yourself freedom and space, even in a constrictive pose. Maybe work with your mind here. So free your mind of that negative dialogue and just do the pose. Of course, if there's pain, you stop. You modify, but a lot of times our problem is actually the mind being trapped. On your inhale, press into your feet, rise yourself strong and tall, warrior one. Exhale, the hands come down to earth, right foot meets the left, down dog. And then switching to the other side. So new side, new opportunity. We're not gonna bring the dialogue of what just happened on this side. So left foot steps for left hand, back foot spins flat to a 45, and then pressing into your feet, rise yourself up, warrior one, left hip reaching back, outer edge of your back foot taking up a lot of the weight. And then we'll take our interlace, putting the opposite thumb on top or grabbing our opposite forearms, spreading our heart tall to the sky 
and then surrendering our heart down inside the inner left thigh. Let your head go. Let your breath flow and, and watch the dialogue of the mind. So free yourself from the negative thinking. See if you can just be in the pose, be in your breath. Free up some space with the breath. Where are you trapped? Where can you set yourself free here? On your inhale, press into your feet, rise your heart up. And then exhale, hands come down to the floor, left foot steps back for the right. Downward facing dog with the heart reaching for those thighs, let your head be free. And then walk your hands back for your feet. And then pressing down into your feet, slow roll, stacking each little piece of your spine. Mountain pose. Really nice, you all. So gather your breath. Find an opening across your heart. We're going to come into tree pose. We're going to lead tree with our heart. Even though our heart really doesn't have anything to do with our balance, we're really going to focus the energy around the heart to see if it frees up some space for balance. If you need to come to a wall, hopefully you have a wall nearby that you can come to. Hands come to your hips. See if you can find that lift of your heart. Let that give you some confidence to just meet the moment with yourself with your whole self, with your whole effort. And whatever happens, happens, right? But I think when we show up with our full hearts, it's the best possible outcome. All right, let's ground down into the right foot. Find your gaze point at eye level or a little bit higher than eye level. Let your left leg be strong and stable. Left foot is firmly pressing down into the earth. And then we're gonna take the right foot like a kickstand, sorry, left foot like a kickstand at the right ankle. Maybe you stay here, maybe you decide to take a more challenging variation, foot at the calf, foot at the inner thigh. Press your leg into the foot more than you're pressing the foot into the leg. Keep that idea of the heart lifting, the shoulders melting, Breathing into whatever is happening and just being with it. Freeing ourselves from the judgment of it. Option to add any variation with your arms if you feel so inclined. Maybe even placing your hands on your heart. And then with your exhale, release out of this side. This time our left foot grounds down, hands come to the heart. Find your gaze point, your drishti, your focal point at eye level or a little above. Find that lift of your heart, the freedom of a new side, a new opportunity. Right foot comes in like a kickstand at the left ankle. And then maybe we stay here, maybe we place the left hand at a wall. Or maybe we find a deeper expression of the pose, if that is what is right for us today. If you have the foot on the leg, press the leg into the foot, everything hugging to center, maybe your hands on your beautiful heart. Maybe you meet your judgments with your heart. Maybe you find that whatever is happening doesn't really matter because you're breathing and moving from your heart. On your exhale, release out of this side. We're going to come into another balancing pose. Um, this one's a little bit more challenging for most people, so you might want to come to a wall just to give yourself that option. And again, we're going to meet it with our heart. We're going to try to find some freedom in our hips. So this is um, a variation of chair pose. So we're going to find our chair pose, sinking the hips back, and then you're going to take your left ankle and rest it up and over your right thigh. 
So we're in like a figure four. You could take your left hand to a wall. You could also take your fingertips to the earth. It's actually gonna be easier and more freeing if you sink your hips into it instead of holding yourself up. So see if you can allow the strength of your right thigh to support you here, steady your gaze, find that lift of your beautiful heart. One more breath here. And next inhale, press into your right foot, lift yourself up. Left foot comes down to meet the right. Other side, new opportunity, leading with the heart, freeing ourselves of our judgments. Inhale, chair pose. Other side, ground down into your left foot. Set your right ankle on your left thigh, coming to a wall for stability, sinking into it. So allowing your resistance to be met with a nice big sink of your hips. Hands come to your heart, or maybe your hands come down to the earth. Ground down into your standing foot. Lift up in your heart. One more beautiful big breath here. And then exhale, press into your left foot. Come on up, mountain pose one last time. Stand in yourself. Stand in your heart. Free yourself of whatever happened or didn't happen. And then let's come on down to our backs. We're going to do a series of bridge poses. So some back bending here. If you don't want to do back bending, you could just put a pillow underneath your hips and rest in a supported bridge. Soles of the feet come down to the earth, knees bend, fingertips should be able to touch those, the heels of your feet. So we're gonna come into three bridge poses and then we're gonna slow everything down. So three more energizing poses, just so you can meet this moment with your energy, right? All right, so press down into your feet, lift up with your thighs, squeeze your bottom, maybe interlace your hands, tuck your shoulders, and then press down to rise up. So if you need to look at what's going on, come down. We don't want to turn our neck in this pose. So see if you can find freedom by working with the floor. So instead of sinking down, press down to rise up. Find breath moving into the shape. And then on your next exhale, hips come down, one hand to the heart, one hand to your belly. Take a full inhale, take a full exhale. Next round, press into your feet, rise your thighs, maybe interlace your hands. Find and work with the earth to support you. So use what you have to free yourself. So pressing down, rising up, checking with your shoulders, make sure they're not scrunched up by your ears. Free your jaw. And then as you exhale, let your hips come down, one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly, take a full breath. All right, my friends, last pose. Let's give it everything we have. Full energy, press down into your heels, rise your thighs, bridge pose, work with the floor, press down to rise up. Exhale, release everything down to the floor. Take your feet wider than your hips. Let your knees fall in, one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Take a full breath. And then take another full breath. From here, hug your knees into your chest. Take your arms either out in a T or arms come in your cactus arms with your elbows bent out from your shoulders. 
and your wrists up by your face. Knees come up and over to the right for a spinal twist. So maybe closing the eyes here, worry less about what it looks like and just feel into the twist, into the expansion, into taking up space. Let your body be free. Let anything go that does not need to work here. Knees come back to center, and then we'll take the knees up and over to the left. So again, taking up space. Settling your jaw. Letting your body go. Knees come back to center. From here, let's grab the outsides of our feet for happy baby. So keep your hips down on the earth and see if you can send your feet up to the sky. If your hips popped up off the earth, take your hands to the backs of your thighs. So we want the low back grounded down so we can open in the hips. And then maybe close your eyes here. Use your breath to create some freedom for your hips. From here, release out of your happy baby. Come to a comfortable position on your back. That might mean that the knees are bent, the soles are underneath the feet again. That might mean taking yourself into a flat position on your back. We're gonna come into some breath work together and then we'll take our final rest. So you'll be here the rest of the class. Make sure that you're comfortable. If you wanna add a layer, you are welcome to do that. So I'm gonna come up to the screen to talk us through these things. You'll stay in your comfortable position on your back. So from wherever you are, see if you can free yourself of having to be anywhere else but here. So this is really important time for ourselves to settle into the breath, to settle into remembering the relaxing part of ourselves. So maybe close your eyes here if that feels safe and okay to do. We're gonna do something called counted breaths. It's pretty simple. You're gonna inhale when I say inhale. You're gonna exhale when I say exhale. And we'll do that 10 times. Now for, um, in the theme of our freedom, our theme of freedom, I'm gonna ask you to specifically super duper focus on your exhale. So that is where space gets created. So of course, inhale when I say inhale, but as I say exhale, see if you can afford yourself a full body exhale. So it's in and out of the nose, close your eyes, let your breath come out through your nose, inhale, through your nose, exhale. Through your nose, inhale. Through your nose, big exhale. Through your nose, inhale. Through your nose, exhale. Through your nose, inhale. Through your nose, exhale. Through 
through your nose, inhale. Through your nose, exhale. 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 Two more rounds. Through your nose, inhale. Through your nose, full exhale. Through your nose, inhale. Through your nose, exhale. From here, let the breath fill back into the shape of your body. And before we come into rest, I just invite you to notice the freedom that you have created in yourself. Even if it's just a little bit, maybe just noticing some space, Maybe the breath is fuller. Maybe the mind has a little bit more room. From here, we'll slip into a couple minutes of Shavasana, final rest. So really giving your space, yourself the space to be in this experience of your body, to remember this part of yourself. I'll call us back in a couple minutes. So starting to bring the awareness back to your breath. Starting to find some small movements to bring your awareness back into your body. It might feel nice to take a full body stretch. And then we'll all roll over to our right side, making a little pillow for our head with our inner arm.
using your free hand to press yourself up into a comfortable seat. Finding that little opening and lift of your heart. Finding your shoulders coming away from your ears. And really grounding your seat down into the floor. Let's go ahead and close our eyes here. And I just propose the question of, what do you need to forgive? What is taking up space that is not allowing you to feel free? So is it a person? Is it some way of you getting in your own way? Maybe visualizing yourself not holding it anymore, not taking responsibility for it anymore and giving yourself permission to lead with and to share your own heart. To make people pay attention to the space of your own heart by being your imperfect, perfect self. Drawing your hands in a gesture at your beautiful heart, bowing into the wisdom of it. Thank you all so much for being here, for being on this journey to freedom within ourselves, freedom for all beings. The light in me acknowledges and sees the light in all of you. Thank you, yogis. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Take care of yourself. If this word freedom is helpful to you, maybe keep coming back to it throughout the day, throughout the weekend. Sending you all my love and be well.